that's what most guys do. They try something that's way outside their league and then they just quit. I'm gonna go approach that cute blonde, tell her she's sexy, try to take her to bed tonight. And I'm gonna, and then I'm gonna tell everybody about it. And then when it doesn't work, they beat themselves up. And that's the guy who's never approached a woman in his life, who has no history or no reference experience for a skill set like that. So what if we changed it a little bit? What can you succeed at? What can you do rather than try? And that's how you get good at anything. You start with where you're at and you shrink it down and you do progressions. So stop trying. What can you do in any area of growth, whether it's women, sex, dating, or something else? What can you do to change your reality now? So in this video, I want to talk about trying, specifically why trying doesn't work when you're trying to get good at something, when you're trying to meet a woman, when you're trying to get good at approaching a woman, when you're trying to uh, get a woman to like you. You see, trying actually pushes everything you want away. And uh, this is why it's important never to try. You either do or you don't do, but you don't try. And that's a really important concept. Now, I thought about that a lot and that confused me because how do I do without trying? And I'm sure a lot of you are thinking that right now. How do I do without trying? Well, it's very simple. As I thought about it more and more, it hit me one day how simple this really is. You see, whenever I would go out to try to do something, try to meet a girl and it failed, I'd walk away and go, oh, that didn't work. See, she didn't like me. And then I would try again, I'd try again, and there was this thought in my head that if I just keep trying, I'll eventually get better. But for a long time, I wasn't getting better. Matter of fact, it seemed like I was getting worse. And then I, I likened it to lifting weights. And I thought to myself, well, wait a minute, if I go to the gym and I want to squat, let's say I can only squat 135 pounds, but I really want to get strong, so I throw 200 pounds on there, what's going to happen? I'm probably going to hurt myself, and it's not going to be pretty, right? And that's what most guys do. They try something that's way outside their league, and then they just quit. I'm going to go approach that cute blonde, tell her she's sexy, try to take her to bed tonight, and, I'm going to, and then I'm going to tell everybody about it. And then when it doesn't work, they beat themselves up. And that's the guy who's never approached a woman in his life, who has no history or no reference experience for a skill set like that. So what if we changed it a little bit? What can you succeed at? What can you do rather than try? Can you just walk up and tell her she's pretty and walk away? Can you walk up and tell her she's sexy and then she's walking away? Can you walk up and tell her she's fucking sexy, more tension and walk away? Can you ask for a phone number whether you get it or not doesn't matter just the fact that you ask maybe you go ask five girls for their phone number maybe you go up to five girls and just say they're sexy today and that's it or there's something about you you got a great vibe i love the way you flow you know whatever you can do you do maybe it's just asking the time of five attractive women and that's it and getting comfortable with that the more you do what you're comfortable at and celebrate the success, this is why the tension journal video I did earlier was so important. Go check that out if you haven't. And you can do that specifically with women and hitting on them and flirting them and make it all about that and that will grow you. That's why that's so important. You got to work at the level you're at and then there's no try, there's just do. You know, I used to go out to say hi to people all the time because I wanted to get over my fear of being seen. So I would wave to people on the street and yell hi across the street. And I got better and better at it. And I did every day. I would say hi to 20, 30, 40, up to 100 people in a day, just walking down the street. And I got to the point where I got so good at it. I could make people smile. I could make them laugh. I could make them walk over to me and say, hey, do I know you? And the reason that was, was because I got so open and free inside. Whereas in the beginning, I was terrified and I'd shrink drink and I couldn't walk up to them and say I could barely get a high out if somebody was standing next to me I could do it better but if it was by myself it was really scary and as I got better at it I got better and better at the highs and so what I did was I, I didn't try to be this big confident guy in the beginning I what could I do well I could squeak out a little high so I squeaked out 20 little highs and I just celebrated that success and then I said with the next 10 highs can I work on relaxing and feeling my heart a little bit, relaxing into my heart and my back? Yeah. The next 10 highs, can I feel my legs as embodiment stuff? And as time went on, I got more and more relaxed and I started to say, with the next 10, can I see if I can see their eye color and remember their eye color? And I started to do that. And then eventually I was like, you know what? I'm gonna dance in the middle of the street and say hi to people while I'm dancing and invite them over to dance. 
And those were successes. Then the next one was, I think at one point I, I sat in the middle of the street and I waved to people hi while I was sitting down. People thought I was weird as fuck, but I did it. And I had a blast doing it. And the more I did this stuff, the more fun it was for me. Eventually I started throwing out compliments. People, more and more people wanted to come over and talk to me because I was so open, but it was a progression of things I could do, not trying to do something that was way outside my league. And that's how you get good at anything. You start with where you're at and you shrink it down and you do progressions. So stop trying. What can you do in any area of growth, whether it's women, sex, dating, or something else? What can you do to change your reality now? Okay, so what I want you to do is whatever you're gonna do this with, I want you to put a comment about it in the video right now. And anybody that needs us, because so many people do, I want you to share this video with them right now. Do it, and uh, do, don't try. And uh, make sure to like if you haven't liked the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification. Remember, only the confident really live right here from Miami. Have a beautiful day, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.